Hey everyone, I'm here today with my creative year for the prompt of reuse. I saw this idea on a video on YouTube and the woman's name is, I hope I pronounce it correctly, G. Kerr. It's G-I-K-E-R-R. -R. I will link it down below so that you can watch her version of what I'm about to do. And mine's a modified version of hers. Um, because she covers the backs of her work and I am not going to cover the back of mine because mine will be glued hopefully on my bookends where I don't need to glue the back of anything although these are rather fat and I may have to cut them down to make them a little more skinny or I could use this one like that so I will modify it as I go. You know me, I fly by the seat of my pants. All right, this has to do with reusing things. So first, let me start with this. I have a folder or a box full of leftover scrapbook paper from previous projects, and I categorize them according to the colors. And one day when I was bored, I made Franken paper or whatever you want to call it. I have 50 sheets of eight and a half by 14 computer paper, inch computer paper, that I glued my scraps to in various patterns, colors, so on and so forth, because I want to use it up. And I thought, well, you know, I'll do a lot of embellishments. As it has turned out, I have not done that. So this stuff has been sitting on a shelf for, geez, I don't know, close to a year now, and I, decided that I need to do something with it and the reuse prompt from hashtag my creative year was the perfect time for me to do it. So I pulled out this piece right here since I'm going to do hearts I thought maybe I would do them red. Yes that's very stereotypical but this is what I wanted to do with it. So <clears throat> um, the scraps were already glued on the sheet of computer paper but what I did was I took leftover chipboard from um, my coffee K-cup packaging, that kind of stuff. This is some kind of a sheets. These are for percale sheets. This is advertisement right here. I made a mistake and glued this with the advertisement up where you can see it, and I'll explain why it's in a mistake later. So I took the other ones that were shiny, like this was, and I took a, a file, a nail file, and I scuffed it up so that it would stick to the paper on the other side. Um, and then this is this is one of the ones. I think this one was cut off of this one right here. So I scuffed up the back side. Then I took this, which is a reuse, and put my ink on it. I mean ink, oof, my glue on it, and then glued it onto the paper here. This is a mistake because I have to trace these hearts on here and pencil mark right here is not going to go well. So I'll, I will use um, a white uniball pen or maybe a po white Posca pen to trace here. But if you're going to do any kind of tracing, remember to put the advertisement down, not up, so you can see what it is you're tracing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the camera and I'm going to trace these and cut a few out so you can see the, pro the beginnings of the project. So I'll be right back. I cut out the hearts and I only did one set of hearts as you can see I took it off the corner here from this paper. Oh wait, this is what they look like. Cut out. Then I think G flipped hers over. Then she took wire and I already had my wire out from something else that I was working on, so I decided to go ahead and pull this out. This is the last of the zebra wire like this, so I figured, what the hay, let's just use it. So, you need a pair of wire cutters, or you can use Tim Holtz scissors. They work really well on the wire. I think this gauge is uh, 20. It's a little heavier, a little heavier, but a 22... 24, 26, all those would work well. All right, so she took wire and made sure there was about an inch and a half in between the hearts. And let me just do this for grins and giggles. 
and see if I can do an inch and a half. All right, there is one inch. Oh, let me pick up the wire here. And that's an inch and a half. So this is where this goes. There you go. And then snip it off right here where the heart comes together. Okay, so I'm going to cut a couple of these because my templates are about the same and they're all going to be an inch and a half apart. So let me just go ahead and cut a bunch of these and get that over with and then I can move on to the next part. Now she covered the backs of her hearts and I wasn't going to until I realized that the reason she covered the back is because you have to glue the wire onto the back of the cardboard here. So she takes um, double stick tape, lays it down, then does glue on it, uh, stick glue on both sides, puts this down on one, one side, affixes it, and then does the same thing to the other side and then covers them up in paper on the back side. Well, I wasn't going to do that, but now I understand why she covered the back side. So I had some of these that were already made out of paper that I wasn't going to use. But I think what I will do is I will use this and then I will, let me cut this one down. I'll take this one and cut the heart out of this one. Well, can I rip it off? Will it come out? No, it's all right. I'll cut this off. I'll cut this up and put this on the back side because that will help to hold the wire on the other side. So I have this one that would be the back side. Actually, let me take this one. Do this on the back side because the wire will be underneath here and then I will use this for the back side on this one. While it will not be perfect, it will be sufficient. All right, let me go get the tape. Okay, I have double-sided tape, which I have not used in ages. I forgot I had it, actually. I was going to glue this stuff on, but since I have the double-sided tape, there's no point in not using it. <coughs> I think maybe I should use skinnier tape, huh? All right, let me get the skinnier tape. All right, let's see. Maybe this will work a little bit better to have the skinny tape on there. Alright, so let me peel, let me burnish this with something. <laughs> I can't find my stick there, so let's use this. Will it stick? Oh, it did. Great. Here's my wire. Oh wait, and she also took a glue stick and went around the edges outside where the glue, where the uh, tape is not. I don't think glue sticks are 100% reliable, but let's do it this way. Give it a try. All right, so we have this piece of wire here to go down there like that. She's stuck down. Then I'm going to take my glue stick and go on the back side of this one and glue it on here. I may have to trim it because it, some of it, see, it pokes out on the other side. So I doesn't plan on doing it this way. Mash it down really well. Where is my... Aha. See, I put stuff away and then I can never find it. <laughs> Go figure. Alright, so I'm going to take a little piece of thinner tape and do it on this one. The opposite side. Of course, it doesn't look like thinner tape on the smaller heart, does it? Let me cut this off here. 
so it's not hanging out. And now it's going to hang out on my finger. All right, let me burnish this a little bit. Pull this off. You see? Sorry. I've been getting out of frame on my videos a lot lately, so I'm really trying to be very conscious of it right now. All right, there's the There's the glue, and then you lay this down, and then she, let me not glue it again on the second side. Let's see if it'll stick just as well without it being done on the other side. I don't know if it will or not. Burnish that down a little bit. And let me flip them over, see if I need to trim a lot. I need to trim a tad off the corner here. If you're going to do this, please refer back to her video because I did not you know me. I never actually follow directions. That doesn't look too shabby, considering I wasn't going to put paper on the other side. This one needs is a little out of alignment. Not bad, huh? I think I glued this wrong. <laughs> I think I got it backwards. All right, let's see if I can pull this off. I think I put my wire on backwards. Should have done it this way. So let me go ahead and put another thing of tape on here just to be on the safe side since I messed it up. Let's do this. Alright. This is why you need to go watch her video. <laughs> Alright. Let me tear a little bit of that off. this up Go this way because I'm going to do it the opposite direction because you're going to twist the wire so let's do it this way let's go all the way down here and the reason I think the wire goes down as low as it does is to give it stability Let me take this one off and redo this one. Hopefully I can get it. Yeah, there we go. Without too much trouble. Not a problem. And I will put another little bit of tape back down where I messed up. Put this back down here. Kind of burnish it a little bit. Pull this off. And Give it a little whack of glue. And then put, whoop, 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 don't move. Put the wire back down. And clean this up around the edges a little bit from where the paper tore. And then glue this back on top of where it was before. Hopefully it will fit just enough. There we go. All right. So it's a little shy around the edges, but I'm not going to sweat bullets over it because it is the backside after all. Okay, so after she glued these together, she took her pad and went ahead and did the edges to cover up, you know, anything that wasn't consistent. I'm using, what am I using? I'm using Rich Cocoa from Momento. And I did the edges because I've got cardboard glued onto paper. 
and I want to make sure that you don't see the cardboard edges, the white from the cardboard edges, or the white from the paper, rather. She just kind of went around and did it, but she used a tool. I'm just going to use a makeup sponge because this is good. This this will do it. This will accomplish what I need for it to accomplish. All right, let me do the bottom one. See, I'm trying to cover up the white from the paper. The back ones were already done earlier, but I just want to kind of disguise the cardboard a little bit. It is the back side after all, so maybe it's not as important as the front. Okay, so we did that, and now we're going to twist it. All right, so I had to watch the video again to make sure I did this right since I screwed up the fronts. All right, so you've got your hearts, and they're both glued with the wire in between. You've got a front and a back. Now what you want to do is you want to hold it like this on both ends or put pressure where the wire is so it doesn't come undone, and you move the small heart to the front of the large heart and it looks like this from you see the wire in between so it's just one stacked on top of the other then you press down on the little heart and make sure the wires kind of come together you pinch it here and then what she does is she pinches and she twists and twists but you have to hold on to the hearts so that when you twist it, it doesn't pop out from between the layers of the paper. And then she has the twist. You see that? You've got it twisted. And it makes a love you make a lovely little loop. And then these are open in between your two hearts you made, right? So there's my yellow side, there's yellow side and red. And my wire is popping out here. So what I'm gonna do is Instead of shoving it back under there, I'm just going to cut the end part off. And then that way, hopefully it'll lay down a little flatter. Okay, so you got this. Then what she did was she took this part and curled it down. So that you can put an embellishment, another embellishment on it. So I'm going to find my pliers somewhere on the desk. <laughs> Maybe, here we go. These are the needle nose pliers, or I don't know if they call these barrel pliers or needle nose pliers. And then you take this underneath here and hold where the wire comes together at the hearts and you bend this forward over on top of the little heart. So that's what it looks like. You have, it. let me look, show you sideways. It sits up a little bit up off the heart, but you don't have to. All right, so you see that up close? A little bit off the heart. All right, let me go get my embellishments, and then I will finish this off. Kind of cute, huh? Ah! Look at that. I got a heart. Unfortunately, the heart goes the wrong direction. Let me see what else I've got. Bead caps. Bead caps. Bead caps. And guess what? More bead caps. <laughs> Maybe I can make the little heart work. Let me see what I can do with this. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a piece of wire through here. I had some wire left over here on the desk. There we go. Let me straighten this out a bit. I'm going to poke a wire through here. That's more than enough. Uh, I'll take this and cut it with my wire cutter. To slip off like this on the end, this is what I'm going to do. This is something extremely simple. Take a pair of pliers, 
put them in, put your wire in it, and then just roll, roll, and roll so that you get. Let me see. I hate to put it up. There you go. Let's see if it'll focus. Can you see that? If I zoom in, it's not going to focus. So, all right. So now that I'm going to do that, I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to crook the neck. So now it looks like this. All right. See where I bent it? The reason I'm bending it so it looks. flat on the bottom. Whoops, it turned. <laughs> there we go. So it looks kind of flat on the bottom there. It looks like it's sitting properly. All right, so I got that. Um, another way you could do it is you could put a tiny seed bead or use a head pin. All right, so now what I need to take this. The proper way to open a jump ring is not to pull it apart this way, it's to twist it like this. So you take two pliers, or you can take your hand um, and twist with one and hold with the pliers and the other. What you do is you go like this, you open it, insert this into this, and then you put this in here. Then you close it back to where you got it. Now if you close it right, sometimes you can actually hear it snap where it rubs against the other side. And there you've got it. All right, so this is my reuse project. As wonky as it's been. <laughs> um, use what you have. Even if you don't always reuse every part of a reuse project, it's really great that you can use these kinds of things I don't know, people call them Franken paper, they, uh, collage paper, or whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. Use it up. And now I will continue to cut out more hearts out of this or more shapes out of this and create the same type thing. If you watch G's um, video, she will talk, she shows that she made a set of leaves that were done that way with the wire. And she suggested you try circles in different shapes like this. But the, the coolest part of this is that you can use it as, let me do it this way because you can see it much better. You can use it as a bookmark. How's that? You just slide your stuff in between the two hearts and you got yourself a lovely bookmark that has a charm on it. Cool, huh? All right, so that is my version of reuse for hashtag my creative year. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.